Let's go paint a stargazer lily. Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Reference picture was taken by Roy L. Heron. Check out his Facebook page. Amazing, amazing pictures. He has so many beautiful pictures. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Makes you want to paint for the rest of your life just on his pictures. Stargazer lilies. They are vibrant and fun and they're simple. I like simple. Simple good. When you're starting, it's better to go to something simple. A lot of people wind up going to really stuff that they're not ready for and they don't do well and then they get upset. And so here, this allows you to really probably do a good job, even if you're a beginner. This allows you to practice your wet and wet technique, splattering, and it's just fun. And it gives you the opportunity to control your water. If, if you're having a hard time with it, you're going to watch how I'm going to control my water. Because I put water on everything, including the edges and the background. And yet I'm going to control it by different things. So I will show you how to do that in the demo. The other thing that's important is this gives you an opportunity to practice your edges. So there would be soft edges, hard edges. When do you want, when you should need to do soft or hard edge and why? So we're going to look on that. So let's talk about values. This is mainly a mid value painting with some dark and just a little bit of white on the edges. So if I'm looking at this and if the edges are white, what do you think the background needs to be? Well, you don't want to have a white background because then it doesn't pop out the flower. As far as colors go, I'm going to use uh, fuchsia. Now fuchsia is a fugitive color, which basically means that over time, if it's exposed to sun, the color may change. I'm not going to be around here in 50 years. Eh, I'm not too excited. And I really like, it's a very vibrant, beautiful color. If you're not comfortable with doing that, and you think it's going to, you're going to be doing this for forever, then go ahead and use permanent rose. But I'm going to go with fuchsia, some of the darker pinks, some purples, and a little greenish yellow. Okay. Now I'm going to try to mix my yellows, uh, into a, I'm going to make a brown rather than going to actual brown. So that'll be fun too. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's paint a lily. I'm going to just kind of do a background real quick, just so that I don't get too crazy. I think I'm going to grab a big brush. It just makes it a lot easier. My goal is to go around the flower. So if I know something is going to be gold or green, I'm just gonna put some color here. Doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. I'm just trying to get something. Now this gives me a chance right here. Soften this edge. See, just gonna put water. I'm gonna come back and work on it, but you know, I can't do everything at once. Just gonna give it a little more oomph because I'm kind of being boring. Very juicy. Do I need to be that juicy? Well, it's nice. So if I put it on, I'm not gonna play with it. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna leave it alone before I get in trouble. Okay, I splattered all over the place. It's all right. Be happy. I'm just going to do that a little bit. You know, I just love letting watercolor do its thing. And I'm going to go ahead and 
throw a little here, but look, I'm just gonna let it kind of bleed into it because otherwise it will just do bad things. Now I can roll this, watch. I can roll this around. want a little bit of that someplace. Now you notice that I'm not playing. I went in, I made a little movement and said, okay, that's good. I'm not going to get in trouble if I do that, I hope. I haven't done this brush in a while and this is a, a very floppy brush that just kind of does what it wants to do. And it doesn't really tell me what I, you know, whatever it said, whatever it does, I just have to kind of deal with it. Through, where can I get a soft edge? How about right here? Maybe. I know I can have a soft edge here. And I didn't carefully outline it either. Did you see that I'm kind of like, hmm, okay, I missed that is I'm gonna use pink, darker pink, and that purple. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna get it wet. I'm gonna get the whole thing wet. Not part of it, but really wet, including, well, it's not the edges. Normally I do the edges. Now, when I get it wet, what's it do? It um, kind of just floats around. So I'm kind of looking to see what it does. You know, do I need to move it around? Um, so often people don't actually look to see what's happening. We're so busy um, playing, we miss the beautiful things that watercolor does. Ooh, maybe not that much. Nope, 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 nope. Again, watching, 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 seeing what I'm doing. Is this gonna be what I wanna do? I do not like that hard edge. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to very softly outline that so that it can't be just totally hard. It's wet, so I have a really good amount of time. I can play just a little bit. Nope, is that it? No, I want, I want lilac. interesting there's actually is a little green right at the tip it's darker now it's starting to dry so I have to be kind of careful I think I'm going to clean up just a little bit and I'm going to actually blow dry because I think I could have done this a different way and it might have been easier so hang on I was just being lazy. All right, so I'm gonna handle it a little differently this time. Now, I, I don't know if you noticed, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the ones that don't have spots on it yet. So I'm just gonna wet this. People worry too much about, oh my, you know, I can get paint in the wrong place. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, I am going to make it a little thicker and I'm just gonna put it in. Now, that didn't even move. Okay, I need a little more water than that. And I'm avoiding the edges for the moment.
Okay, it's already trying to dry. I don't know if you can see it, but boy, I can see it. All right, either totally stop, get it wet again, or make your paint really thick. That's an option. So I'm gonna go straight from the barrel. out just a little bit. Now I have this weird line. I don't like that. So I'm going to get a little more color and maybe I'm just going to stop because I don't like that. Okay, we're going to pause. This is still pretty dark. I'm going to go darker yet. I got the chance. I'm going to get it really thick and just go for it. Because the minute I add water, and I don't know if you guys saw it, but I totally squeezed it because if I add water, I'm going to get a mess. All right, I'm going to leave that alone before I get in trouble. Yep, 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 yep. Off we go. No dots. Okay, off to the next one. I'm going to get everything wet, including a little bit of that, and I will just pull it back out if I need to. You're going to go back to the light pink. And we're going to see with it how much it moves. If it just moves across like woo and it totally goes, then you need to add less water. So I'm just kind of watching. And I'm kind of going around that. I know it's going to be brown or, you know, those kind of colors. But let me ask you something. If I put brown over pink, is it going to hurt anything? And the answer is no, it's really not going to. I think that's a nice place I can just lose an edge. I'm going to leave it there. I can lose an edge here. And now I'm going to go for the darks. And I'm doing this while it's wet, right? So hopefully I'll get soft edges. It just kind of got dull. I don't like dull. Dull makes me not happy. So even though I put green on that, it didn't hurt anything. I'm just gonna do a very light wash so it's more vibrant. Did they go too dark? All right, so what am I doing? I am playing, which means I'm going to get myself in trouble. And I'm letting you know how I'm going to fix it, is I'm going to come and, um, and wet everything. I'm going to stop before I get in trouble. But not this piece. I'm just going to catch this. I'm going to leave that, that little piece of white. But the rest of it, I'm just going to do this. It's so much easier. purple. All right, now is it going to get too dry? I can already see it's really trying to dry off. So I think I'm going to use water again. And then I'm going to kind of watch to see at what point, because I want to actually do some splatter. If you really are trying not to get a splatter everywhere else, so I'll do it right there, right in there. See how that goes. I did not get what I wanted to do, but I'm just gonna pause and I'm gonna deal with it a little bit later. 
In fact, I'm going to pull this out just a tad. Because as long as I didn't get too dark, I can get by all kinds of stuff. But I'm just going to pause. And you can see I messed it up. Okay. And not the end of the world. And I'll come back and I'll show you how to fix it. I'm doing this one last because this is the hardest one because I have to go in and out. If I could say one thing that would help people is actually just pause. Don't get excited. Just kind of go pause and look to see what it's doing. Sometimes it's doing great things. Sometimes it's like not doing things, good things. So you have to determine whether that is a good thing or not. See that hard edge? I don't like that edge. I'm gonna lighten it up. Just, just water. Just a little water so it's not so hard. I'm kind of watching, am I going to have issues with that line or is it going to still soften up? Look at that. It's drying. All right. So if I put water right here. All right. At the bottom, it's really dark. All right. If you get to this point and it's giving you grief, pause, stop, blow dry. I'm just not going to because I want to get that. <laughs> or another option is always put water, which is what I'm doing, on all of it. Kind of move it around again. That is so often you can fix stuff by just using a little more water. Don't get excited. Kind of look around. What's going on? Why am I having grief? So I'm going to come back through because I lost my paint, right? But it's a lot more juicy and free. Oh yeah, I like that better. Much better. I'm not giving up. I'm having issues. But rather than, I'm going to turn it this way so I don't get as much uh, blur here. All right, it's still a little shiny. Now I'm gonna go to a little darker. And whatever it is, is how it is. I'm not gonna freak about it. I'm just gonna say, oh, that's lovely and keep going. You're gonna crack up. I so don't care. I am gonna put water on the whole thing. It's dry. I really hope it's dry, should be dry. Everything except for that blue. It because this is my main treat, my main one, and so I do want it to be a little sharper, clearer. Still going around, but if I get into it and it's a little messy, it won't hurt anything. Okay, and I'm looking to see what happened to that edge. Is that going to be a little bit of a problem? and then I'm gonna add a little more water. It, again, this is the area. Can you guys see that this got really hard? I'm not liking that, so I'm just gonna lighten it up. Again, I keep wetting because I'm not, if I don't like something, now's the time to fix it if I can. If I've got, if I've got weird stuff happening that I don't like, I'm, I am trying to do it and go back and fix. While it's wet, I'm gonna do a little splatter. to kind of do this at the same time. I don't like that hard line anyway. I can make a brown with this and this particular uh, purple color. So watch. Pretty color. I've made this before. I really like this one. All right. So I am actually going to put this in at the same time.
And I think I'm gonna have a little piece of just light right there. Let me come back through. You know, if you use yellow, it will just spread out. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go, okay, there's yellow here. Everything else will pretty much spread away from it. Then at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and start or my pinks. And let me tell you why. I don't want this to be really bossy. These lines will be kind of bossy. And so I'm looking, most of it's a really light color. I'm gonna go ahead and melt it in a little bit. Now, that looks very boring. There's really no poof into it. I think, I think that didn't make sense. So I'm just gonna melt that in. All right, I have to quickly get some water and some splatter that. Now I can come back through if I want to be picky and I can pick up what I just splattered where I didn't really mean to. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. All right, everything's still wet. So I am actually going to continue painting and that will help me to make sure that I keep things look good. I'm going to take a little of this darker shade and it's going to, I'm actually going to make it that dark purple. I don't think I got any. I, I got it everywhere but where I wanted it to. I'm hilarious. Welcome to my life, man. All right. You can do that. But see, then you become like little dotty things. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Okay, that makes me happier. So let's work on. I definitely am just gonna do this and let it kind of do its own thing. I'm not gonna fight it. Now this is on top. So I'm gonna make this light. Okay, I don't like the color. Try again. So now I'm kind of carefully outlining, doing some outlining, trying to make, having fun. Now there's a reason why I'm just allowing that to do its thing. I can water, I can put water on it. I could leave it just like this and let it go. And I may, I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll just put water on. I'll think about whether I want to do anything else. just soften it out. What if I just wrap this around so I can see that pretty line work? Because that pretty much did a what you needed. Watch, if I grab that yellow, that kind of golden yellow, it will just shove everything out. I just love it. It does nice things. Put a little color. Boy, that's an ugly color, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Maybe I'll leave that kind of a soft edge. And over here, maybe I will pop that right there. But I'll leave the rest of it, that a soft edge. So, you know, I can hit in and out, in and out. So right there, I'm allowing it to go soft. Um, I like this to be much tighter. It is a pretty edge. It goes ins and outs and does all kinds of fun things. So how am I gonna do that? Okay, let me put water here. 
And I'm, instead of outlining, I'm going to kind of go back and forth, back and forth. And I'm going to add a little color. See, I'm going to make a shape in that. I'm not going to outline everything. So I'm going to let that the end. Just skip that. I lost that line. You guys see that? Bad line, bad line. Get back here doesn't have to be beautiful but that's kind of ugly but you know I don't want it to be very pretty anyway so I'm okay with that I'm gonna add a little more color here and then I'm gonna do a little more splatter and I'm just gonna leave it alone and if I got a couple of places that shouldn't have been it doesn't hurt anything nobody is going to just say oh my god you had the wrong splatter. Again, I'm outlining. If you do that, add water and make a shape. Make sense? What I don't want you to do is just um, outline and then not make a shape. So I'm going to bring it out here and make a shape. That's how I do all these weird little things that I do is I make shapes. I'm trying to make a fun shape. Look at that. It's a shape. Good shape. Fun shape. <laughs> now, this is going to be on top, right? So we're just going to put some color here. I'm kind of melting it in as we're speaking. I don't really want it to be really important. <laughs> Same thing. I don't think these look pretty. Um, so I'm just going to quickly just throw some color here. Ooh, do you see that really? Look at that shape. That shape doesn't do good things for me. It's over on the edge. It's a hard edge. And so I'm going to soften that right on up. I can play. I can do all kinds of things. But how much do I need? I do want this to be a little more important. And I'm not gonna really worry about, oh, look, soft, that's hard. So let's, so let's soften that out a little bit more. And I'm gonna leave this an edge that goes, same color, kind of just goes right over there. That works for me. Gonna let that just go to the end. Who cares? Let me just do a little separation of these balls. <laughs> Flowers make me happy. Do they make you happy? I don't know. You know, different pictures make me excited about different things. Sometimes it's just because it was pretty. You know, I admit it. It really isn't anything about, it's just it makes it pretty and it's fun. And just put taking brush to paper makes my feel happy. Paint along with me. This is a great beginner video. In the description below, there will be a photo, the drawing, and the value sketch. And you can paint with me. When you don't know what to do and you're messing around and you just keep thinking, if I just play with it a little bit more, I'll get better. Don't. Just drop that brush. It will make such a difference if you could do that. Step back and look at what you're doing. You have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, by the way, like, subscribe, and ring that bell if you like my videos. I would really appreciate it. Thanks.